Kevin Hayes tonight with a height of 5 feet 2 inches. Her weight, 125.8 pounds. She trains with 10th Planet Decatur, and she fights out of Decatur, Alabama. And tonight, in the Aries Fight Series cage, she makes her amateur debut. This is the Hokage Nikaya Steps in the cage with a height of five feet, one inch. Her weight, 126.8 pounds. She trains with Scorpion Fighting System and she fights out of Brighton, Michigan. And tonight, she defends an undefeated record of two wins and zero losses. Her name is... And Zoe Nowicki brings a crowd from Michigan with her. It's incredible the amount of fan support that she has. It's a great time of year to leave Michigan to come and join us. <laughs> brother, you are right. They just Tennessee. got like nine inches of snow in the past two days and rain and lost power for a long time. These are two very, very tough girls, and I'm excited to see what happens here. Well, we talked about the wrestling credentials, and here we go. They're just boxing, and there it is. Absolutely. Zoe shoots. And Nakaya having great takedown defense immediately in the first 15 seconds of this first round. Great knees to Zoe Nowicki. Nakaya really having some powerful hits. Zoe doing good in the exchange, staying on the inside here of Nakaya. Zoe again with Nakaya against the, the cage, but. Nakaya answering the call with some very aggressive knees. We're learning a lot about this fight, I feel like, here in these opening moments. Yeah, and I think we're going to learn a, a lot about these athletes and, and both having huge, huge futures. This is going to be, either way, this is going to be a great, great uh, fight on their career no matter what happens here. Man, Nakaya's just uh, yeah, Nakaya so strong. Is, uh, showing some great fluid she's, strikes. Yeah, she's doing, she must have been working good with, uh, with Christian Alcos because she's doing great on hitting it in the pocket and getting out. and You almost wonder if she had too much success with the striking there because Zoe was able to kind of slip under one of those striking combinations and land a nice takedown, finds herself in side control. We'll see what her plan is here. Nakaya in, in deep here. I like what Nakaya is doing here to try and get out from underneath. I'm telling you, her jiu-jitsu is some of the best in the Southeast for, for, for men's and women's across the board. Just an incredibly accomplished grappling submission artist. That was very impressive. Absolutely. Nice get-up game there from Jackson. I mean, you're talking about Zoe Nowicki, a, a Olympic-grade wrestler, and uh, Nakaya Jackson, uh, I wouldn't say easily, but found her way back up, back onto the feet. And that's, uh, that's an impressive task against uh, uh, an accomplished wrestler like Zoe Nowicki. Yeah, we saw in uh, Nowicki's last bout, you know, in January, uh, when she was getting takedowns, she was keeping her opponent down. And she Arnie, was, Arnie yeah, Jackson yeah, absolutely showed, right. Yeah, showing the get up. We got about 50 seconds left here in round one of three scheduled rounds. With about 35 seconds left, you know, this is going to be a tough round to score in all honesty because Jackson mm -hmm. had a lot of success with the striking early. Nowicki uh, secured the takedown and uh, it's kind of stalemated here for the latter part of yeah, the round. Yeah, she's doing good uh, getting getting this, the fight into her corner, but Nakaya Jackson isn't uh, seemingly too concerned and this isn't wearing her out like I think a lot of people anticipate. She's doing a great job on these knees. She's standing strong, heavy in the hips, being very hard to be taken down on. If Zoe Nowicki may be trying to get one more takedown before this round ends, and we'll see if she can do it. It is the uh, old argument oh, of, man, oh, wow, at the end of the round. It's the old argument of control versus damage, you know, and what judges value. Yep. Uh, in, in recent times, it seems that the damage side of the equation is more in vogue in MMA judging. Absolutely. But let's take a look at this action here from round one, Houston. Yeah, we see Nakaya being very strong. Boom! Right there on that overhand right, and. You know, Zoe doing what she can to stay on the inside pocket of Nakaya Jackson. That's very hard. Nakaya having a very good reach advantage and 
And she's strong. I mean, she's very, very strong and uh, very technical. It's going to be interesting, too, the, the psychological aspect of this, right? Because Zoe Nowicki, uh, in her last bout and being undefeated, kind of a hot knife through butter. Uh, she's getting some resistance right now from Nakia Jackson. And, uh, yeah. you know, maybe it's not to be expected. Nakia Jackson, as you mentioned, highly accredited in the grappling realm, but a very evenly contested round one. Absolutely. We got a banger here, folks. Let's cheer these girls into round number two. Both opponents gazing across the cage at one another after what was a very contested round one. It is Zoe Nowicki and Nakia Jackson. Round two underway. This is the second bout of our main card. Man, Nakia Jackson they can throw so many punches so fast. And these knees that she's landing is so strong. Zoe doing great on taking these, take, or hitting these body shots. And then nice circle off there by Jackson. You can tell very obvious that Nakia Jackson, I mean, already having great takedown defense, but you can tell that this was practiced in her camp a lot, how she's going to defend these takedowns. Ooh, great, great right from Zoe Nowicki as she takes down Nakia Jackson. Similar to round one, that was, the, honestly, this, this round is kind of mirroring round one. It's almost yep. eerie. I, if I'm being honest, I feel like Nakia Jackson probably getting a little bit of the edge in the standing exchange. Yeah. And just when she starts to feel confident in it, uh, Nowicki is masterful at timing that takedown. And you hear Zoe Nowicki's corner is heavy on the chest, and I think that that is key because if you give Nakia Jackson any space in there, she's going to find a way out. Um, but, it, you know, that's a hard order in this corner here against the cage. It's hard to get, you know, a lot of weight. Very, very experienced corners from both of these. Very, uh, you know, just, you know, saying professionals is, is an understatement. Both. Both these girls having amazing coaches, an amazing team. Can't say enough good about either of them. Nowicki just utilized the knee to the body on the grounded opponent. We just saw Zane Burton have great success with that. Yep. It's interesting to see how different techniques in this sport start to come back. You know what I mean? I, yep. For a while there, you weren't really seeing anybody utilize those knees to the body. And uh, not just in areas, just kind of across the sport. Nowicki uh, doing a good job here of establishing some top control here in round two. Yep, and doing a ve very good job listening to her corner and <clears throat> incredibly good advice from her corner here. Got to watch out though. Nakaya being so skilled is probably trying to line up some kind of sweep. Knowing what I know about Nakaya, I, I feel like through this whole process, she's just not worried, not worried. We're going to see what happens. And Zoe Nowicki, wow. good attempt there, but Nakaya just very being very hard to take down. Swimming for these for these uh, underhooks here, Nakaya Jackson against the wall. And again, this is shaping up to be another really tough round. Nowicki yeah. would do really well. Uh, she has to work so hard to maintain top control after the takedown. She yeah. can't get any damage off. Absolutely, but this is exhausting for Zoe Nowicki to be pinning Nakaya against the cage here. And Nakaya's doing everything she can just to kind of relax. Take some breaths, and Zoe Nowicki, this is exhausting for her. 10 seconds left in the second round. I mean, you mentioned the uh, the wrestling credentials of Zoe Nowicki, though. If anybody's conditioned for three rounds of nonstop takedowns, you know, she's she's definitely the fighter for the job. And oh, oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if the judges would have scored that one. Well, it's sort of like evidence that you're not allowed to have in court. Right, right. If the right. jury sees it, it doesn't matter if you're right. I guess so, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's interesting, though. And that, honestly, that just muddies up the waters even further. Yep. I uh, I don't have a confident read on All how right, this is scored. All right, Todd Nigel, we got one more round. Neither one of these ladies has got any quit in them. Let's cheer them into round number three. <clears throat> oh, Todd Nigel, they're better than that. Let's cheer them. love hearing the support here for both of these fighters yeah, for this absolutely. great crowd tonight. <clears throat> Big crowd too. Taking a look at the Scorpion Fight Systems corner, you got Ashley Eichner who was victorious. She's out here cheering on her teammate. They are obviously a very close team. Yep. Nakia Jackson, I don't think has broken a sweat yeah, through this fight. She looks great. I was just going to say, Nakia Jackson looks unfazed. Um, 
throw throw her five more tonight. I'm telling you, like one of the, the better athletes in the southeast. And I'm not saying female athletes, just one of the better athletes in the Jackson, southeast. I believe it. Truly, truly. <clears throat> so I would say rounds one and two mirrored each other. We'll see what happens here in the third. Nice front kick here for Jackson in the right hand. That overhand right is, is landing very well for Nakaya. <clears throat> I think Nakaya is, is happy that she's landing those and that she wants to keep this fight to the to the feet here. Ashley's starting to lean forward, or excuse me, Zoe's starting to lean forward on these takedown attempts, but when you're that powerful, if you secure the double leg, you're going for a ride and a big takedown for Nowicki. And we'll see what she can do here. Uh, I didn't see <clears throat> a whole lot of submission attempts from that, and we see Nakaya setting up for a sweep here. It's hard when you both against the cage. Zoe looking to uh, generate. Man, she's got to be careful. Nakai was aiming for that head, yeah. and, and man, she could do it. Ooh. Wow, what an athlete to get up in that limited space. Yep. And Nowicki, you know, like a dog with a bone, right back on the takedown. Just when you think Luke Wilson's looking for maybe a, a break for, you know, a stalemate, I feel like Nowicki does just enough uh, to try and advance the position or go for another takedown to, yeah. to maintain this, this cage control. <clears throat> to your point, though, uh, Nakia Jackson doesn't seem distressed in any way. No, not at all. And I, and I think that this, this is not the. You know, I'm, I'm not in the head of, of Nakia Jackson, but I don't think this is the debut she was looking for. Nobody wants to be put against a cage like this for three rounds, and, and Zoe's trying to make some damage here, but um, this isn't this isn't a very, very exciting fight, and I know that Zoe has a plan here, but oh, that I do like this behind the arm grab from Zoe Nowicki, if you can see that. That's a very, very dominant grab here, and I think that could really, uh, Nakia Jackson was able to get out of that, but <clears throat> Zoe's got to come up with a game plan here with 50 seconds left of this, of this fight. You know, uh, obviously they're they're a similar fight. I'm going to make a comparison. This does kind of remind me of when Pat Crumpton beat Logan Neal. Uh, right. You know, and Pat yeah. obviously featured in the main event tonight, and it was like when Logan could get space, you know, he had some 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 problems to offer in the striking, but Nowicki here t playing the part of Crumpton. Just a wet blanket, essentially, just so dominant yeah. with this discipline of wrestling. Yeah. Um, that I has kind of been the story, but <clears throat> I will say this. Um, the success on the feet has been a little bit more prolonged for Nakia Jackson. So Absolutely, yeah. Give him, give him two more rounds. You know? yeah. I mean, this is what we need on this fight here. That's a good point. I mean, we got proper 12 on board. Why not 12? Yeah, and Zoe trying to make it an attempt for another takedown as we get into the last 10 seconds of this third, of this third and final round. It will be very Nakia interesting Jackson to see. having the chin here. Ooh, and Nakia getting under the chin, and that is it. Well, just Final when and over. The third round started to get a at a fevered pitch. There, we've reached the end yeah. of the fight, and I I've, I can seldom remember a scorecard I'm more <clears throat> interested in seeing. Me just too. Based off the action in the fight. Me too. Definitely, uh, these two fighters. Have I mean, have you a lot could of you could throw Nakia three more fights tonight. I mean, she is just just as uh, as fit as they come and and this has been a good fight for her and I think this is a great debut great debut fight for her to have yeah and you know Zoe Nowicki obviously went to decision her last time it was unanimous at the end of the third she two. put her Who arms up elated today? with the potential victory right kind of more of a subdued reaction here as I'm not saying I know who won this fight but that's the exact point we don't know who won this bout and we're about to yeah see the scorecards but it, it really is kind of a discussion about what judges value currently in the sport. So I, I'm interested to see how this one is scored. But uh, yeah, Nakia Jackson being very, very hard to take down. Incredible strikes. I think Zoe landed a takedown in every round. I'm not sure if you would count that last takedown in the first or was that second round like right second at the round. buzzer. Yeah, the yeah I'm not sure if, if that's fair to count that or not, but um, <clears throat> not really causing much of any damage on the ground. Nakaya looking very confident. Zoe looking confident. I, know. This, uh, <clears throat> I don't know that anyone lost this fight, but we're about to find out who won it. Yeah, great. E either way, great debut for Nakaya, and uh, I hope we see her a lot here at Aries, and I know that she's going to have a very promising career. 
ahead of her. And the way that you build her, you know, elite level submissions, uh, grappling master. For and real. all she did was come in here and show great fluidity in the striking. Yep. And, um, you know, you're going up against uh, just a straight up bulldozer in Zoe Nowicki. And we can pontificate, we can prognosticate, we can deliberate. Again, give him two more rounds. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it's not up to us. The only man who knows the result of this card is in the ring, and we're going to throw it to him right now, Lance Green. Ladies and gentlemen, one more big round of applause for two amazing athletes that took it all the way. After three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judges' scorecard. Your judges, Nala Lechuga, Lisa Duran, Josh Amato, have all scored this bout 30. 27 for your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Zoe Nowicki! Zoe Nowicki goes to 3-0 on the strength of a relentless grappling attack and I'll have a word with her in just a moment.